Hello, SGD, Sacred Geometry Decoded, and I'm going to add this video to the uh, playlist uh, Enoch, Hermes, Tresmegistus, the Great Pyramid, Temple Mount, Heliopolis, and the Kaaba. Um, I might also drop it into another playlist, but uh, links will be in the description to earlier videos that connect directly to this. Now, so here we see a uh, the survey of the Great Pyramid and what you have here at the corner is what's called the sockets and they're a very very important feature to um, remember uh, also this is a screenshot here of from the JH Cole survey of the, of the pyramid itself now he was measuring just the pyramid and he also so he has his measures and he also incorporates uh, Matthew Flinders Petrie's measurements in there. Later surveys have confirmed this to within a you know a fraction of a centimetre either way. So here's J. H. Cole, all the Petrie measures of the Great Pyramid itself, not including the sockets, have we've stood the test of time. Of course this is of the Great Pyramid with the sockets, and it uh it's uh, Charles Piazzi Smythe as well, and Petrie's survey as well. Petrie measured this too, and it's uh, essentially confirmed again within a small fraction of an inch either way by, by the Royal Engineers surveys. So the sockets are, well, they're corner pieces. Now, these drawings here are, are um, extrapolations, let's say, because they didn't actually dig underneath the pyramid itself. Now, for instance, that's just the pyramid, the red square and the red square, the sockets extend outweighs a little center. Now, based on the angles of the sockets, say, extrapolated the, the shape of them but of course that's dependent on you know they didn't actually dig underneath the pyramids to find those um, now the, you know, the sockets at the corner there are an important structural feature of there I've just highlighted that and these are magnified so the sockets themselves do not extend out quite that far they've magnified this picture a little bit in dimensions so for instance the north face of the pyramid which would be uh, this side on so this diagram is not facing north so that's the north side there and there we have the measures itself uh, 755.428 feet or the uh, EG at the uh, 755.425 now it might look like a six there but you can again you can just see it's uh, 755 it, the southern side is slightly over 756 feet. No one side of a pyramid is exactly the same, and no one side of a pyramid is exactly 756 feet. Now, that there's something interesting in there because I'll show later that uh, the, the foot, the meter, and the cubit of uh, pendulum series, these are all linked, and the, the allegedly modern English foot, which we find in ancient Greece, we can find it in here as well, but you need to think about the pyramid not as a series of triangles, but as a three-dimensional object. I'll get to that in the future, but staying on the sockets, and we're going to carry on. So, including the sockets, the north face of the pyramid is 760.7483 feet. Now, they show it in inches, and I've just, so inches, and also we see feet there. And that's the eastern face of the Great Pyramid, including the sockets. The northeast corner, and this is why I'm focusing just on the northeast corner for the moment, because that points directly to Heliopolis. So do so not just the Great Pyramid, basically the whole all of the pyramids of point to Heliopolis. And so now just to focus on what's the distance there. Now why I'm focusing on that is because the pyramid is not a three-dimensional object. It's not a tri uh, sorry. It's not a two-dimensional object. It's not a triangle. It's a pyramid, and you need to think about it that way. And so, facing Heliopolis, you don't see one side of a pyramid. You see two sides of the pyramid. And so, close that now. So, uh, there are a few measures here, and they're slightly out from one another. So let's have a, we have those in blue. Then we have Petri's in red, and it's um. 1521.63 and 1521.65. I'll just rounded that off. The number, you can see the numbers there. It's a very, very small margin, well within reasonable margins of error. And so the average would be 1521.6379 feet for the 
northeast corner of the pyramid, that which points the Great Pyramid, which points directly at Heliopolis. So now that's a that's the northeast corner of a pyramid, and it's an important point. The pyramid, the most you can see is two sides. It's not a triangle; it's it's a pyramid. So, and this is the corner of a pyramid which points directly at Heliopolis. Uh, in Lower Egypt, the land of the pyramids, the Egyptian texts such as uh, the pyramid texts of Eunice and etc., which uh, exp tell you know, it's the, the ancient records say that Heliopolis is the 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 birthplace of Artum and the Ennead, the the gods of Lower Egypt, who were born on the Benben, the primordial creation mound of the Benben is Heliopolis. That's what the records say, but there's also plenty of other evidence to say that because recent geophysical surveys have shown that at Heliopolis, that's a, we'll see a better picture of it soon, but the mound of Heliopolis is here. We'll see a better picture of that soon. Uh, in the recent, um, uh, maybe a month, maybe two months ago, I did a whole series on Heliopolis. So there we see the the borders, the walls of Heliopolis, and that is the Benben -Ben Mound. That's the primordial mound which has been uh, spoken of in history, um, so in Strabo and others as well, but also geophysical surveys have confirmed this. And so that's the Benben -Ben Mound. Now also Herodotus, Strabo and others, uh, the, the Greco-Romans are not shy about telling us that, that Heliopolis was the place where they learnt astronomy, timekeeping, philosophy, geometry. So astronomy, geometry, time was brought to uh, Greece and Rome from Heliopolis. Again, their records are quite clear on that. Eudoxus, Plato initiated uh, at Heliopolis by the priests of Heliopolis who were considered the most, as Herodotus tells us, they were the most knowledgeable people in Egypt. Uh, I'll put these links to these playlists, uh, playlists in the description. Heliopolis and Sheset the record keepers, Heliopolis, as the centre of the royal records. Again, all quite explicit in the in the, the ancient texts. They, they tell us this, um, and there's also a lot of other evidence. So Imhotep, high priest of Heliopolis, the high priest of Heliopolis, chief of the observers. It's good to see that this, at least a watered down version, is now is now circulating. But uh, yeah, looking over the shoulder. So um, I posted this back in 216 this video. Uh, I've been further developing this idea that based on the exact measures provided by the exact surveys, not rounding it off, but including the discrepancies on each side, what you have is instead of good approximates of phi and pi and astronomical knowledge, if you look at each corner and use the exact measurements, what you have is good approximates become essentially uh, perfection or at least as uh, way above reasonable um, margins of error measuring techniques provide. So each corner of a pyramid has a different meaning. Um, I'll, I'm going to redo this video because I have new evidence to suggest and one of the parts of this is that the northeast corner, uh, which is what I say is represents astronomy and time, points directly at Heliopolis. Heliopolis was the center of timekeeping, geometry and astronomy as expressed by people such as Strabo and uh, Herodotus. So that's, uh, now, back to the measures on the northeast corner of Heliopolis. Uh, the northeast corner of a pyramid which points at Heliopolis, timekeeping, astronomy, philosophy, geometry, centra, uh, center, he 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 histor um, historical record keeping center, Sheset, the high priest uh, there as well as Heliopolis. Now, so I've just provided an, an average using that. I've just divided that by two. So the average on side of the pyramid, of the Great Pyramid, that one facing Heliopolis, including the sockets, is 760.818 feet, or that many metres. Why is that relevant? Well, so the northeast corner of a pyramid, now remember this number, well, you can go into... Where are we? I can do that. Uh, maybe, okay, I'll give that a second to load because I've got Google uh, Earth open. You can um, check this for yourself. 
and where are we back to that picture so from the northeast corner of the pyramid to Heliopolis is 23.188 or 23.189 kilometers 23189 23189 now I just stop there now depending so it's only a you know a meter or two out and that's you know that's, you know, that's like a couple of pixels on that picture so if you if you take the base of the pyramid including the sockets on the northeast side that side which faces Heliopolis you get well that distance just times it by 100 now earlier in that uh, Heliopolis series I just double checked uh, what was already suggested by Charles Piazzi Smythe and others that the Great Pyramid plan linking to Alexandria and Port Syed is times 1000 so here we see it times 100 including the sockets um, and where does that point to not just to a random point in Heliopolis it actually points to the Ben Ben mound that's the, that's the mound there confirmed by geophysical surveys as told to us by the Egyptian records the pyramid texts of Eunice etc which also say that the uh, the Mesketu the North Star again nice to see that that take getting some traction um, and that this other ideas of uh, which are uh, essentially baseless and don't match the actual um, accuracy uh, have they'll start to fall away more and more with time so the Great Pyramid the dimensions of the Great Pyramid which point at Heliopolis actually point not just to Heliopolis but deliver us onto the very mound of creation the Ben Ben mound where Artum this, this Heliopolis is a the temple of Artum so there we see the mound that's exactly where we're pointing to it confirms what's really you know it's no secret um, now this would also link and I'll do that in future episodes to recently I've been posting uh, some older and some recent uh, the pendulum the meter the second the foot the cubit and the pyramids and incorporating astronomical knowledge in there also I'll drop the um, Egyptian royal cubit series because there's some relating to their man is a measure of all things the second measuring time used through geometry and measures of distance uh, Foth, Hermes, Shesset, uh, Ningesida, Nuan Fruzi, Guides of Geometry, Guides of Weights of Measure, Across Time, Across the World, Across Cultures. These are the important gods. And so as an example, that's um, what I'm suggesting that each corner of a pyramid is based on the actual measurements instead of approximates. What you get is essentially perfection. And geometry, two and three dimensional, the northwest corner, the northeast corner, astronomy and time. Of uh, southeast corner ratio and the imperial system because that points to the Kaaba at exactly 800 miles essentially. Now there's some something to be said about that, but also the metric, the meter, foot meter in the cubit. That's the southeast corner, and we're going to come to that because that delivers us right to a very very important feature. This is any this I would call it a theory rather than a hypothesis now because it's actually bearing fruit and predicting so much other things, but. Uh, why is that important? Northeast corner, which points at Heliopolis, I say, is, represents astronomy and time via the pendulum, which is across from the meter, from the meter pendulum across there. Well, there you go. And what's important about that is that the maximum visible base of the pyramid, looking from Heliopolis, the northeast corner, including the sockets, is the rotational speed of the Earth per second. Astronomy and time, rotational speed per second hence 86,400 seconds per day multiply that therefore you get the equatorial circumference of the earth if you include the sockets multiply it by 86,000 if sorry if you include the paving stones the sockle there we see the sockle if you include the height of the sockle into the height of the pyramid multiply that by 86,400 you get the polar diameter of the earth a whole description of the earth rather than I would say is a clumsy half sphere the whole earth not a half sphere and so 86,400 meters cubits feet pendulums seconds and pointing to Heliopolis so that just uh, just connects even nicer both all these other gods gods of weights measure geometry maths astronomy well it's, you know where are they centered at and it's Heliopolis we must know we will know hope you enjoyed more to come have a good one